fractions meaning of fraction one or more parts out of many equal parts is called a fraction in the first figure which is a rectangle there are two equal parts here one part is shaded or in other words half of the region is shaded in figure 2 which is a circle there are three equal parts here two parts of the three parts are shaded in other words two third of the region is shaded in figure 3 which is a square there are five equal parts three of its five parts are shaded that is 3/5 of the region is shaded in figure 4 which again a rectangle there are six equal parts out of which five parts are shaded that is 5/6 of the region is shaded the numbers like 1 by 2 2 by 3 3 by 5 5 by 6 are called fractional numbers the numerals or fractional names used to name fractional numbers are called fraction numerator and denominator let us now see what is a numerator and what is a denominator in figure 1 where half the portion is shaded that is 1 by 2 part is shaded 1 is the numerator and 2 is the denominator in figure 2 where two parts of the three parts are shaded that is 2 by 3 parts is shaded 2 is the numerator and 3 is the denominator in this given figure the segment between 0 and 1 is divided into 8 parts of the same length each part is 1 by 8 of the segment you can count on this numbered line by 8s 0 by 8 is a fractional name for 0 Zero by eight is equal to zero. Eight by eight is a fractional name for one. Eight by eight is equal to one. One by two and two by four are equivalent fractions. In this figure, one by two of the rectangle is shaded. In this figure, two by four of the rectangle is shaded. Two fractions that name the same amount are called equivalent. fractions example draw three rectangles of equal size call them rectangle a rectangle b and rectangle c now divide rectangle a into two and shade one part of it divide rectangle b into four parts and shade two of it divide rectangle c into eight parts and shade four parts of it The shaded portion in rectangle A is 1 by 2 part. The shaded portion in rectangle B is 2 by 4 parts. And the shaded portion in rectangle C is 4 by 8 parts. We see that 1 by 2 is equal to 2 by 4 is equal to 4 by 8. So 1 by 2, 2 by 4, 4 by 8. are equivalent fractions let us now compare fractions with the help of some diagrams example 1 in figure 1 1 by 2 part is shaded and in figure 2 2 by 3 parts are shaded compare 1 by 2 and 2 by 3 here 1 by 2 is smaller than 2 by 3 example 2 in figure 1 2 by 3 parts are shaded and in figure 2 3 by 4 parts are shaded compare 2 by 3 and 3 by 4 here 3 by 4 is greater than 2 by 3 fractions with the same numerator let us now compare the fractions with the same numerator with the help of some pictures in figure 1 the circle is divided into two equal parts and one part of it is shaded that is half or 1 by 2 is shaded in figure 2 the circle is divided into four equal parts and one of the four parts or 
1 by 4 is shaded. In figure 3, the circle is divided into 8 equal parts and one of the 8 parts or 1 by 8 is shaded. So, the fraction is 1 by 2, 1 by 4 and 1 by 8. Here the numerator is the same for all the three fractions. Rule In fractions that have the same numerator, the fraction having a smaller denominator is greater than the fraction having a larger denominator. From the given three figures, it is clear that 1 by 2 is greater than 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 is greater than 1 by 8. The fraction 1 by 2 is the largest and the fraction 1 by 8 is the smallest. Fraction with different numerators and different denominators. First method. Such fractions can be compared by forming equivalent fractions with the same denominator. 1 by 3 is equal to 2 by 6 or 3 by 9 or 4 by 12. In the same way, 1 by 4 is equal to 2 by 8 or 3 by 12. Therefore, 4 by 12 is greater than 3 by 12. Therefore, 1 by 3 is greater than 1 by 4. Second method to compare two fractions and cross multiply. For example, to compare 11 by 12 and 13 by 14. Think that 11 into 40 is equal to 154. 12 into 13 is equal to 156. Since the two products are not equal, the given fractions are not equivalent. Since the first product, 154, is smaller than the second product, 156, therefore, 11 by 12 is smaller than 13 by 14 or 13 by 14 is greater than 11 by 12. Comparing fractional numbers to 1. From the above diagram, you can easily see that 1 by 2 is smaller than 1, 1 by 3 is smaller than 1, 2 by 3 is smaller than 1, 1 by 4 is smaller than 1, 2 by 4 is smaller than 1, 3 by 4 is smaller than 1, 3 by 2 is greater than 1, 4 by 2 is greater than 1, 4 by 3 is greater than 1, 5 by 3 is greater than 1, 6 by 3 is greater than 1, 5 by 4 is greater than 1, 6 by 4 is greater than 1, 7 by 4 is greater than 1, 8 by 4 is greater than 1. In fractions less than 1, the numerator is less than the denominator. In fractions greater than 1, the numerator is greater than the denominator. Addition with the same denominator When adding fractions with the same denominator, add the numerators and use the same denominator. 1 by 4 plus 2 by 4 is equal to 3 by 4. Subtracting fractions, 5 by 6 minus 2 by 6 is equal to 3 by 6. When subtracting fractions with the same denominator, subtract the numerators and use the same denominator. Simplest form. You have seen that 1 by 2, 2 by 4, 3 by 6, 4 by 8 are all fractions equal to the fraction for 1 half. The simplest numeral is 1 by 10. This is called the simplest form because there is no number except one that will divide exactly into both the numerator and denominator of this fraction. The fractions 1 by 3, 3 by 4, 5 by 8, 7 by 16 are all in their simplest form. Example 1. Consider the numerator 
and denominator of the fraction 14 by 21. What is the greatest common factor of 14 and 21? Is 14 by 21 in simplest form? Why or why not? Solution Greatest common factor of 14 and 21 is 7. It is not in its simplest form because the numerator and denominator have a common factor. A proper fraction is one in which the numerator is less than the denominator. It names a number less than 1. An improper fraction is one in which the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. It names the number 1 or names a number greater than 1.